friend of mine gave me one of these uh, little can crushers. I'm not sure where you get them. I think it might be a Harbor Freight deal. You put your can in there, move it like that. I didn't think it was very manly, to be honest with you. But uh, let's give it a test here. All right, let's see here. Got a can. Put the can in the... Uh... I'm doing this with one hand. There's a can. We pull this thing down here. And there you go. I don't know. I think we can do a little better. Right, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this uh, this one here has got to go. So let's get rid of that one. It's not very cool. Let's get a little more aggressive. I say we crush cans with this. It's a uh, monster cylinder I found on the old internet there. It's got a, a one inch shaft and a six inch stroke. Typical air cylinder. It's the kind of thing we used on uh, fighting robots. Easy spot to hook your stuff onto. Pivoty. It's kind of awesome. Here's how they work. You take your old, uh, take your old compressed air, and uh, check this out. <laughs> oh yeah! Now you can see, with this six inches of stroke, by throwing air to this, we're going to crush a can. That's the plan. And the way we're going to do that is take this piece off here. Went to the uh, farm equipment place. It does a lot of pneumatics and that kind of thing. Got a nut. Put a nut on here. We'll make us a little round plate that sticks on this. And we'll make a little channel here. And that's how we'll crush the cans. We'll make this little plate. So let's, uh, let's get around to making this plate, I think. Now you can see what we got going on here. I've got a little piece of uh, angle iron here. That's what I'm thinking we'll use for a channel because I think a can will sit in that real nice, uh, just like this. So I think that's the way to go. Let's uh, measure the can here, see what kind of measurements we're talking about. The old caliper here. And it says that the can diameter is like 260. So I'm thinking if we make this thing here, and I'm just going to use this uh, little green Rolock disc here, if we make our, our little push piece here about that big, it should come in there and just smash the old can. So I'm thinking we should make this business here uh, two and a half inches. That's what I'm initially thinking. Like how big is the lid here? That thing is like a little over two, it's like two, almost two and an eighth. Almost two and an eighth. So if we come in here at 240, we got a little room to wiggle here. This is kind of hard to do. Got a little room to wiggle. And I think that is a good start. So let's make uh, let's make something about the right size. Weld a nut on the back and get our smashing piece going down. The piston we'll call that. Let's get our piston going. I found this little piece of pipe that's almost exactly the same diameter that we need smash this can. So what we'll do, is I found this little scrap of steel here, what we'll do is we'll put this on here, trace around that, and we'll cut out our little piece, there, the piston. Now we get it all traced around, got a little circle on there, let's go cut that out. All right, here we are, I got my little disc cut. I just traced it, put it through, uh, put it through the saw, cut it. It's not perfectly round, but it's close enough. You know, after I did this, and did this the hard way, I realized all you'd have to do, really, is just go get a standard hole saw, and make it the right size, and then it would have been perfectly round. You just cut it with a saw or a, you know, a drill press or something like that. So uh, you could use this way or the way I did around, you know, just trace it and cut it out and clean it up. So now we'll take this piece here, we'll center up this nut right there, get that welded on and install it right there. All right, we got our little piston all welded up, got that nut welded on this little metal we cut out here, and that should now Fit on here. I'm filming and doing this uh, with one hand, so let's see how we do. This is hard to do. Oh, looks pretty round. That's a good sign. All right, so there you go. Now that's starting to be kind of lined up there. Let's put a can in there. Ooh, I'm liking the way that's going to fit. All right, so that works. 
So this piece here can now be all tightened up, this business here. So now we're going to start making this channel. And I want to use this angle iron because I like the way it holds the can. So uh, let me think about this for a second. Hold on. All right, it took a little time to measure these here. And I'm sure they're going to be different on any cylinder you find. This is, just happens to be my cylinder. You can, you'll have different dimensions for yours. And I, I just kind of made a little blueprint here at the front. And this is what it kind of looks like. And I've already transferred to this piece of scrap metal I got here. And I'm going to add an extra inch on either side. And uh, I think I'm going to end up using that for mounting somehow. I don't know how yet, but I'm going to leave an extra inch. And uh, I've already transferred all these dimensions onto this. And then uh, always measure twice, cut once, as they say. And I've kind of come up with this number here of uh, 307, which is distance between the studs there. And we'll just do a little double check there. That's 307 right on the money. And what do we got here? 307. So it looks like everything's right on the money. This baby's ready to cut out. That's what I think. All right, we're over here on the drill press. And this is just a quick little fun thing. I've got the center hole cut out here. But uh, I see a lot of guys, like newer guys and uh, guys that are just learning fabrication, if you're going to drill a half inch hole here, they'll just take the half inch bit and just ram it through the steel. It's always best to drill a pilot hole, and that's what these are. It's a little pilot hole. It already goes all the way through. It's ready to go. Take your big bit and then chase it after the old pilot hole, and your bits will last longer and the drilling will be easier. That's a little something for you right there. All right, we got the plate cut out. Let's see how she fits here. Oh, man, like a glove. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now we got to figure out how to make the rest of the gizmo come out of here with their little channel and uh, see what that gets us.